What's up guys? Welcome back to another cracking episode. It's Excel Gamer 123 here back again on Opcraft on all top factions guys for another let's play episode here on our series of ultra op factions on Opcraft guys the IP will be on your screen right now play.opcraft.net oh, on top of my hotbar and in the description below if you want to join me guys so let's get into this episode if we can hear seven or six likes that'll be amazing guys I don't really know I don't really have a like goal I'm just picking out from my brain guys what I think you can do because lately we haven't well we've been doing really good with the likes because of the subscription guys we're doing really 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 well um guys I'm gonna explain what's this this thing around here like I'm um, you know this base this enormous ginormous defensive base um I'll talk about that just in a second guys but today we're gonna be doing a little bit of base tour I have to start off the episode by apologizing you guys because I haven't been uploading or pretty much recording lately. Um, the reason why, a lot of football training, um, a lot of spare time wasted, I guess. We had a lot of to do in like, family business and stuff like that, and like that. And because of this base and another one, I'm going to be showing you guys in the end. And they're both unbreakable bases and they're obviously claimed because... So yeah, this is guys, you know when I, um, the tutorial episode guys, the tutorial series, um, series when I showed you out. Um, like all the type of the bases and like stuff like that and how you raid So I showed you um, what are the best, you know, how what's the best, you know Um, like unclaimed bases. I think it was the yeah, that one. Um, so today guys, we've got a claimed base So this is not a raid guys. Unfortunately, this is a base tour and so we're gonna be doing a little bit of base tour So let's just get into it guys. Um, so this is my base in the end I made um, I say I started this a month ago. I finished like four days ago I'm not too sure if it was a month, I'm not too sure if it was four days, don't know, whatever that was, you know. But yeah, it's, um, it kind it came like, it just, you know, I thought about making something, and then it came into my mind how to do it. So I was thinking region rules, but I wasn't too sure how to make region rules at, at that time, so I started doing these type of rules, just lava and water, and it still worked well because water and you know, prevents, you know, TNT, obviously, but there was a sand cannon in, and it will take, like, probably one shot for that, and then take two or three and four shots and to get into here, and then they have to, like, and then the TNT has to fall on top of there with the sand cannon, and, but this prevents from sand, so I don't know how they, you get, how you can get raided, but, unless they can overclaim us, but, um, yeah, I don't think this is properly claimed, like proper claimed, but I will claim that. Um, so the reason, like the how I got here is, this guy raided, like a guy raided this base, um, he put, like, you can see here the TNT platform ended up here, so I continued this platform. People tried to raid this base, I had, I had like five people, like, well, which were 500 blocks close to this base, so you can see here, yeah, they already broke in, so that's, um, a thing. But guys, I apologise. Any background noise? I cannot do anything about that. Obviously, family business. I'm recording at the wrong time, as I haven't really recorded much. So yeah, guys. Um, as you can probably see, um, it's not even. Like this side is a bit, you know, has more walls. That one is a bit longer. I don't know because I kind of, I kind of gave up on this side. Um, because I was thinking like it will take a really hard work because it's claimed, and it will take like you know how to place. You have to place a block obviously to make a TNT cannon. And yeah, it looks like someone done for. I think I yeah, it's here where I gave up. But this is not our main base. But we have stuff in this base, and the other one is not ready to be shown yet. So home big base, guys. Um, that's what I called it. Yeah, I have. Um, I showed you the later the outside and the inside of the base. Um, obviously the inside first. Welcome to our base, guys. Um, that's uneven there. Well, I've noticed that one the donator was here, but that's uneven. But I kind of forgot to to do two layers, I don't know, two um, things, you can't do slash through, so G freaking G, um, unraidable chest guys, so you have to place creep eggs to break this, so, I know, I don't know why, it's either from people, it's a harder for people to get in, it's, it takes more time, I guess it's cool, um, um, so here we got our drop off chest, I don't think it has some stuff, oh wait, no wait, oh yeah, it has a ton of stuff, I was emptying out my player vaults actually for a raid, that we're going to be doing next episode I think. But yeah, we got an Iron Golem farm. I'm not too sure why I made an Iron Golem farm. Like, people now just go into GMC, but if people don't want to really take time to go into creative mode, then, yeah, and guys, GMC does stand for cre um, game mode creative. 
Um, so yeah, so this is a little drop off chest and here it's just going to be the organized chest. I like it, it looks quite nice and we've got some AFK um, pools here and we've got a little upstairs area which I'm going to be adding a little bit like more um, drop off chest but I like it, it took a long time to make like all of those patterns, especially that, that took forever um, but the walls were easy, um, making the walls were quite easy but it took longer to do than the other base even though the other base is big and it looks that like it been took like a long time so yeah and we got loads of spawners and a lot of stuff like that and guys we are here joined by XOR PvP symbol sword yeah not a person it's my sword companion sword uh, I don't know really so let's get into the second base I've got a tour guys now I cannot show you the inside yet as sure because I want it to be finished and I want it to be a surprise so this was a surprise I haven't told any of my friends and any of my faction members for like a month I kept that for a month this starting of this base and free a freaking G so let's go to home outside 2 guys this is my other base now prepare to be stunned it didn't take too long actually just the um the the surface of the base took forever so guys welcome to base number two now before you say oh no you cheated you um, stole it from someone else no actually i actually made this so the only part which took forever was this this bit this bit here took forever and yeah guys so yeah but i did have help in this base i definitely did have help and Obsidian was placed by someone else, um, so I did. I definitely did have um, help. The obsidian was placed by someone. I think it was um, game or one game game freak uh, something like that, something along that lines. I definitely remember his um, last three letters of his name. It was like E R something like that. So he started off his um, he started off the base with obsidian, and he forgot about the bedrock, which was weird. So I couldn't. You know, break all the obsidian and start bedrock. So we just continue with the obsidian. It's alright, it doesn't really matter because waters are surrounded. But this is what matters. We've got four regen walls. Now regen walls work like you break people, you know, they they rage and then the the thing's supposed to, you know, um turn into prompts and it's not doing that. Uh, maybe it's this side. Oh, oh god, these this wall's broken. Oh well, um Really, come on, wolves! Why you do this to me? I know that they work because I tried them last time. Is it because I'm on the wrong side of it? Where is it? I definitely know they do work. I really... Oh my god, they don't. Did I just place the water in the in the wrong side? All right, no, I actually haven't because this is how I found the tutorial. Um, it definitely wasn't supposed to be. I don't know. It, I don't know. If working on that but region rules though they definitely is because you place um because you place a block here you put a lava underneath you put water above it and boom region rules but I guess we don't like so we got we've got it going all the way down here and it's massive as you can probably see this is a a big base um I'm not sure what this is when I started placing water here that came up so I'm not sure I think that is someone placing a block or an accident it might be me I can't remember um, it was a long time ago actually. I'm not too sure, it was, I started this project like a week or two ago. Yeah, this goes all the way down to um, the end, um, where the end stops, so yeah, this is pretty big. And um, the inside guys, I cannot show you because it's not ended out, but I'm just going to give you a little hint of how this, you know, the pattern is. I've made like an X with it, well, plus and an X, and it has like, it's like an England flag but different type of colours, it's not white and blue and all that stuff. Red. It's just like lanterns and all stuff like that. So yeah, this is uh, a pretty big base as you can probably see. So it's claimed as well, and it can't be slash through as well. So this is well, I can't, I can't be slash through right now. It's because I haven't finished the last layer inside, which is the, all the blocks where you the patterns. But no one would come and break. They probably would get an inside, but you know, if we do get. I could always, you know, move out all the stuff into other bases, but yeah, this is a pretty big base. I am happy of this base. I don't know about the region walls if they're working or not. They're supposed to be working, 
I did try out this, and I don't know if they work. Let me just break this. I definitely need to get the blocks. But yeah, it's very laggy, by the way, because of the lava. But yeah, but this is um, the water supposed to come in and um, turn this water into a cobblestone again, but I guess it's not working. Somehow, maybe they have upcraft that region was like they probably don't have the water system, but I'm not really sure. I really don't know, but whatever. I still have the, a, a lava and water layer. So it's still right. So yeah, I've made, I'm not, I'm a little bit of a noob at how to make unbreakable bases. I will be, um, putting slabs, maybe cobwebs on top of here, like here. Because as you know, cob, or I might be doing like a second, like a glitch layer, where people, if they glitch, they can't, like if they glitch, they get into that layer, but they can't glitch into another layer. Which is good, because I can glitch, in, I glitched into one base, but that got raided, unfortunately. So, yeah, um, but yeah, this base is, Pretty big, I must admit. Pretty big. So what I'm gonna be doing is probably adding slabs to this and the um, bedrock. I'm probably gonna add a, like a massive bedrock layer to this, just so it looks like a bedrock layer. But um, you yeah, know, nah, it wasn't a mistake from someone. It wasn't me. I had to continue. Like he did the top layer and the bottom in a second, so I could have. I, like, I had to continue. So it wasn't just me doing this base, but um, it wasn't one of my faction members. I think he left and went to an ally faction. And he's trying to get an inside, but I'm not too sure. Are these walls region walls? I don't know. Uh, that doesn't really matter. I don't know. I don't know. Where's cobblestone? All right, Steph. But um, I might actually go and patch up all of the sides I accidentally broke. Um, whereas this one's going to be so hard to spot. It takes a load. I've been spotting so many errors I've done and it takes forever to take. But yeah, the region's walls, like, this take is so easy. Oh, here it is. It's so easy because the water does the job for you because I wouldn't be placing all this cobblestone. I'm not placing all this cobblestone, alright? The water did it for me. So I just put a line. I've done it like this, guys. So I'll show you. I'll make a region wall for you. Um, so I did that. I've done that, guys. And placed lava underneath this block as you can see underneath all of the way so like a, a whole wall line so it looks like a a um what's it called a lava wall i guess and then what i did is place water on top of this block what it does the water goes down it touches the lava and makes it into cobblestone on the outside um which is what i wanted to and that's what has happened that's what i saw for a tutorial and that's what i saw previous edge doing it as you know he was building some of his bases, so it's right, but somehow it doesn't work, and it might be just at the place of the lava. As you can see, there's like there is like um there is sides, there's like you know top of I don't know what can I describe them like um, castle walls. That's because I placed like the lava, and then I haven't placed in that block because it just moves, and so stuff like that. And yeah, so yeah. Guys. I'm just gonna search up my faction for a, for a second. So our faction's doing 18 players, all right. Um, all right, this guy wants to TPA for a raid. We might have a raid, I'm not sure. Let's have a look, guys. So yeah, we've done a lot of region. We have done a lot of work in unraidable bases. I'm, as I said, guys, I am not that amazing at it, but I am definitely a pro at uh, hidden bases, guys. Uh, unclaimed bases. I know how to make unclaimed bases very, very well. Um, so yeah. Um, wow, this guy's just like, can I join your server? What server? I don't have the server. Um, he probably means, can I join your faction? But you know, at first I saw, I said um, clan because I played I play Clash Clan. So you know, stuff like that. And holy dog, he actually has a raid. No way. All right. Cool, mate. Um, uh, alright, cool, cool. Um, oh, I thought he died. Alright, never mind. Um, uh, he actually has a raid for us. Alright. Um, I, oh my god. Um, start armor. That's a lot of start armor. We definitely don't need to take that start armor. Um, did I sound Scottish there or American? I'm not too sure what that accent was, but. And holy go, noob gamer craft. Hello, noob gamer craft. Um, is he part? Oh yeah, he's part of faction. Oh, holy dog. Um, 
photo. I will say a photo. Um, it's weird. It's a whole world. Yeah, we don't need all this. It's fine. <laughs> I love the like blow, 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 blowing up bases. That's what I'm at. I just want to see where this is located. Just to see what location they've done it. And oh, they've just placed it. This is actually quite a nice bait. Well, the location is not the best, but it's all right. Um, how can I get back in the base? Can I just do slash back? Will that just put me into where I, I slash through? Yeah, I guess it will. Um, hopefully it does. So yeah, I guess Peter. that um, raid was pretty much yeah you know, useless. So yeah, guys. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed the episode, I really really did, so if you really 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 want an expert at building any of bases, any type of bases guys, um, call for me, for help, because you know I can make type of these bases, and I will be adding a bit of slabs to it as well as I said, because you know, prevents it from seeing sand cannon in, so yeah guys, leave a like and that would be amazing, let's aim for 6 or 7 likes, that would be so so cool guys. And I will see you next episode. Bye.